Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to go on an adventure to a star you may have never heard about. But it's actually the biggest star that has a name. Well, actual name, not like one of those scientific names. Let's go visit this uh, unusual, very beautiful and absolutely incredible star known as the Garnet Star and welcome to What The Math. So this gigantic star is actually on the list of some of the biggest stars in our galaxy and potentially our universe. This tremendously large object is so big that it would actually, if you were to place it in our solar system, um, would be able to reach Jupiter and possibly even half the distance to Saturn. Uh, as a matter of fact, you could potentially place like a billion of our own suns inside of this star. Now, first of all, let's actually talk about um, the name of the star. Like I said, this star actually has a, an, a real name, a proper name, and the name is Garnet Star. But more appropriately, it's actually known as Herschel's Garnet Star because this star was originally described by the famous astronomer William Herschel uh, hundreds of years ago. Now, it does have a proper name. As a matter of fact, this star more properly, more scientifically, is known as Mu uh, Cephe. And I think this is actually how you can find this star in Space Engine by just typing M-U-C-E-P. But size and the name are not the only things that make this star very unusual, very incredible and actually extremely unique. I'm actually going to switch to Universe Sandbox right now just to show you some of the more unusual properties of the star that um, you may have not been familiar with. And if you don't really know why this star is called Garnet Star, well, that's because Garnet is actually um, a red a mineral that you can find on Earth. And when Herschel originally looked at the star, it looked very, very red. It, it looked extremely red and kind of resembled a crystal of Garnet. And so uh, this is why he decided to call it that. Uh, now, I'm going to switch to Universe Sandbox um, and also give the star a little bit more luminosity because it is a star after all. Um, and uh, show you some of the more unusual properties about this object um, that might actually be worth investigating. Specifically, this is actually one of the few stars we've found so far that has actual rings, kind of like, you know, Saturn has rings, so does this star. And I wanted to actually start by placing this star right in the middle of the solar system, just so you can see what it would be like if it was right here. There, there is Saturn, the rest of the planets have actually been swallowed, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like um, from a distance of about 60 astronomical units. So it's a very, very, very large star. Um, it's also very, very bright. It's about 280 times uh, brighter than our own sun. And I think I may have actually destroyed our solar system. And it's also possibly going to ca cause a supernova in a few seconds. So just giving you a heads up. Anyway, so um, what do we know about this object? Well, first of all, uh, we know that, and there's that supernova, uh, we know that this object is actually at a distance of about a thousand, over a thousand light years away from us. We're not exactly sure how far away. Um, but at the same time, we, we know that this star is actually going to go supernova within about uh, maybe maximum two, three million years from now, but possibly even sooner. It is at the end of its life, and it's currently actually, if you were to look at what's happening on the inside, it's burning... Um, helium to create carbon and this usually only lasts about 600 years after this is going to start burning neon and then oxygen and then eventually it's going to get so much iron on the inside that it's going to go supernova so it's basically not very far off from creating this explosion that you just saw and when this happens uh, obviously we'll be able to see it from pretty much anywhere on the planet uh, but, but it's not going to endanger our planet because the star is quite far away over a thousand light years away now, one thing about this particular star that is interesting to note before it actually does create a black hole after the supernova um, is that currently it's actually about the same size as the largest star we've discovered. Maybe a little bit smaller than UISQT. Um, at the same time, it's the only one that has a name. Uh, the only large star that actually has a name, as I mentioned. But more importantly is that if you were to measure the size of the star a little bit differently, this could technically be the largest star. Specifically, there's actually a kind of a shell around the star, uh, right sort of in this visible region, um, that 
is almost like a star's atmosphere and it extends uh, quite a long distance away from the star, uh, basically making it even a little bit larger than, than what you see here. But what's even more interesting is that this star actually has a ring around it. A ring that extends to about four uh, radii of the actual star. So basically, if this is about six to seven AU, this is about 30 AU, basically the distance to um, Neptune. And this ring is visible from our planet. So it's a very, very large ring. Uh, so this is actually what makes this star so unusual. Not only that it has a name that we gave it a long time ago, but also that it actually has a very interesting ring that mostly contains, at least that's what we've discovered so far, um, a lot of water, which is really cool, but also all kinds of uh, dust and silicates and a lot of materials that we usually find in um, various star systems. So for all we know, this a ring could actually be made up of destroyed planets um, or something completely different. Could be a very large asteroid field. And because this is actually a variable star, it also decreases in luminosity quite a lot. So it, it does uh, go up and down in its brightness by about 70%. Um, so there's a lot of mystery here. There's a lot of really cool features. Um, but I guess the coolest feature is that uh, this will eventually become one of the brighter supernova we're going to see in the next few million years. Um, we don't really know when it's going to go supernova, but it's definitely sort of in its last few millions of years of life and will basically explode and create a very, very beautiful uh, type to supernova. So because we don't really have patience for that, let's actually do this right now. We're going to make it go supernova and let's see what it creates afterwards. So this is the end of the garden star and the beginning of a new life as a black hole. And there is that large flash that usually accompanies the supernova. Now we'll be able to see this from really, really far away. And it's most likely going to create a very bright event in the middle uh, of the skies that we'll be able to see. Uh, but we don't really know exactly when it's going to happen. It does definitely have at least a few hundred years left in it. And so there it is, an extremely powerful, extremely bright explosion. And let's actually see if it left a black hole behind it, because that's technically what it should leave after the explosion, uh, because its mass is over 20 masses of the sun. And if we go in the middle, right there, somewhere in the middle of all of this, uh, I think we'll discover a relatively massive, but also somewhat tiny black hole. And there it is, look at that, Garnet star black hole so that's kind of the future of this beautiful star but we still have many years to go until this happens most importantly though um i think it's actually worth studying this star just for the sakes of trying to figure out why it actually has a ring around it because there are not that many ringed stars out there and even though we've actually discovered other stars that have rings usually in the beginning of their life or um stars that may form rings from destroyed planets this particular ring doesn't really make that much sense. But other than that, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. And hopefully now you know a little bit more about the largest star with a name, the Garnet Star. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and maybe click that like button. But better even subscribe if you still haven't. And that, you know, that bell button on the bottom, it does tell you about future videos. But only click on that button if you actually enjoy learning about space through simulations and video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. Bye bye.